Hello everyone, this is Christoph here from Intex Studio and I'm back with a new grid editor update video. This is for version 1.2.29 and we have made a new session profile browser. There are two parts here, one is session profiles, the other one is profile cloud. Currently there is no cloud functionality, that's a work in progress. Here everything lives on your hard drive. Now this new profile view introduces a new kind of workflow. So for example, here I have this EF44 module with its default configuration and I can make quickly a session profile for it. Then I can make some changes to it, like uh, change the CC parameters or, or do something with it. And after I made my desired changes, I can either create a new session profile or take my existing session profile and overwrite it. For session profiles, you can only change the name. So for example, this can be like test2. So if you want some more editing options, you should save it. Now a saved session profile will come to your profile cloud area and there you can interact with it in greater detail. There is another cool thing with this one new uh, profile view. So for example, if I'm selecting a profile, it will highlight the module uh, which is compatible with it. So for example, here I have another EF44 and if I'm selecting this profile, I can load these session profiles to the modules or I could come down to my profile cloud area and load um, config from there. And just to show you how it would look like with a different module. Now, if I'm here on the BU16, it doesn't work. For the PBF4, I can see that uh, this module uh, can be loaded with this profile. And for this one, it can be loaded onto the EF44. Now under the profile cloud, we also have some filters. You can filter out quickly for each of the module types or enter the name of a profile if you want to go like that. I believe this is already better than what we had before, like the legacy view. This uh, new view misses the element presets part, which I have to now, I believe, download again. Yeah, so this is uh, not included now in the new profile browser, but we plan to combine the profiles uh, with the element presets. So like you have a single profile and it can be like uh, uh, opened up like a folder and then you can check out each of the individual um, element presets if it's saved like that. So we plan to uh, have those as well, but now we have focused on the profiles first. Let us know what you think on this new view and how it feels to be used. We plan on introducing the whole online sharing aspect of the profile cloud in the coming months. So stay tuned for that as well.